Hello, today we proudly present the Calculus project. The our project is about Green's theorem, Stokes' theorem, and Divergence theorem. Green's theorem is a vector identity which is equivalent to Curve's theorem in the plane. Over a region, the in plane with boundary curve D. Now, let's go to see some example of our Green's theorem. The solution, let's first get C and B for this case to make sure that the conditions of Green's theorem are made for C and we'll need to sketch off into a value and a double integral. So, the curve does satisfy the conditions of Green's theorem. And we can say that the following inequalities will define the region and curve. We can identify P and Q from the line integral. Here they are. P equal to xy and Q equal to x squared y cube. So, using Green's theorem, the line integral becomes. Okay, now let's talk about Stokes' theorem. Stokes' theorem is a statement about the integration of differential forms in metaphors, which both simplifies and generalizes several theorems from vector calculus. Now, let's see some example about Stokes' theorem. The solution. Let's start this off with a sketch of the surface. In this case, the boundary curve C will be where the surface intersect the plane C equal to 1 and so will be the curve 1 equal to 5 minus x square minus y square x square plus y square equal to 4 at C equal to 1. So the boundary curve will be the circle of radius 2 that is the plane C equal to 1. The parameterization of this curve is r component equal to 2 cos t i component plus 2, two psi t j component plus k component at t 0 to 2 pi. The first two components give the circle and the two component makes sure that it is in the plane z equal to 1. Using Stokes theorem, we can write the surface integral as the following line integral. So, it looks like we need a couple of qualities before we do this integral. Let's first get the vector field evaluated on the curve. Remember that this is simplifying the components of the parameterization into Tj vector field. We need two derivatives of the parameterization and the product of this and the vector field. We can do the integral. The last one, divergence theorem. The divergence theorem is a mathematical statement of the physical fact that in the absence of the creation or destruction of matter. The density within the region of space can change only by having it flow into or away from the region draw its bound value. Next, let's go to see some example about Leverton's theorem. Start this up with a sketch of the surface. The region is 
water volume flow is then drained in force by this surface. Note that side for coordinates will be a proper coordinate system for this reading. If we do, here are the limits for the rates. We also need the divergence of the vehicle too. So, let's get that divergence L component equal to y minus y plus 1 equal to 1. That's all. Thank you for watching.